we have the lift arms hooked up. We'll extend the top link out. So it fits. Machine is hooked up, I'll accept the hydraulics. Hydraulics are all hooked up. It's ready to pick up and level. For proper grading, you'll want the back blade slightly lower than the front blade. You'll attain this by adjusting the top link on your tractor. So the easiest way is to use your three point and set it down until the back touches. Uh, and then you can, once that will make this loose, as you see right now it's tight because it's got all the weight of the machine on it. So we'll let it down a little bit here in a second where this is easy to adjust and you'll make an adjustment and then you'll look at it and see if it's adjust enough. The other adjustment is left to right, um, which if you're on a level surface like we are now, we can set it down, we can see where we're at left to right and that will be adjusted by your lift arm adjustment on one side of your tractor. We've got the adjustment front to back made. Let's, uh, let's talk about the left to right adjustment. It looks to me, we're fairly level here, looks to me like the left, left side of the blade here is higher off the ground than the right. So from where we're sitting, I would say the right side of the machine needs to come up. And Basically, it's uh, adjusted the same way with the, not with the top link, but with the right side arm on this tractor. Uh, some tractors have adjustments on both sides. This one just has it on one. So I'll get back in the tractor. We'll let it down to where there's no weight on the right side arm, and we'll adjust it up a little bit. adjust the I-beam and roller complex if you this is standard equipment we have with the ratchet jack on the back we adjust the the arms so they are flat against the top of the back blade. That is where it needs to be set before working the arena. Okay. If you don't want the standard equipment and you want to add a cylinder on the back, then you just remove this, pull the two pins, pull 
We'll grab the cylinder. You may have to adjust your hydraulics. Nope, this one fit, perfect. Put your pins in. That's the installation of it. We'll go to the hose clamps up here. You'll remove the bolt, pulling these on. That adds all the hoses together. You can take a wire, wire tie, zip tie, black tape, or whatever. You can connect all these together if you like. Plug the other two hoses at the other ends up here. Just like that. And your extra cylinder is already hooked up and ready to go. The only other adjustment we have is the sway bars on the tractor. We want to somewhat tighten those up. Um, pretty much want the machine to be as much centered as possible. Um, we're really close. It just needs to go slightly that way, I think. And while everything's clear of the ground, you just push it over a little bit. And that's basically all there is to it. There's latches. Every tractor is a little bit different. Latches on each side. That'll keep it from, let it have a little sway, but not very much. So, other than that, you're ready to go to the arena. Drop in the dirt and see what final adjustments we need.